With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. So in this question we have a particle is projected at time t equal to 0 from a point p on the ground with the speed v0 at an angle 45 degrees to the horizontal. Find the magnitude and direction magnitude and direction of the angular momentum of the particle about p at time uh, t equal to v0 upon g. Okay, So here we are given that at a particle is projected at a 45 degree angle right so this is 45 degrees uh, with the speed uh, v0 okay so the initial speed this is equal to v0 so that means the x direction uh, initial speed in x direction this will be equal to v0 cos 45 and in y direction u y will be equal to v0 sin 45 so we know that this particle will exhibit projectile motion uh, let's say that point p is arbitrarily at this point right so this is p point and here we have to find angular momentum okay and that is given by m r cross v okay so we have to find the angular momentum at a time t equal to v naught by g so t is equal to v naught upon g so to find the angular momentum we have to find the position of the particle at this time and also the velocity of the particle at time t is equal to v0 upon g and then we can take the cross product of it and uh, determine the angular momentum. Now we know that in a projectile motion ux is always constant during the whole um, trajectory of the projectile motion. So this means that at time t is equal to uh, v0 upon g the x component of velocity will be equal to um, v0 cos 45 right v0 and cos 45 is 1 by root 2 so vx will be equal to v0 upon root 2 and from first equation of motion vy will be equal to uh, u plus at and initial velocity is v0 sin 45 right so this will be v0 uh, sin 45 is 1 by root 2 and in the projectile motion acceleration due to gravity will be in negative y direction okay so this will be minus g times t okay but we have to take time uh, t at v naught upon g so this will be equal to v naught upon root 2 minus g uh, v naught upon g okay so v y will be equal to v naught 1 minus root 2 upon root 2 okay so from here velocity vector will be equal to um, v x i cap plus v y j cap okay so this will be equal to v x is uh, v naught upon root 2 right so this will be v naught upon root 2 i cap plus v naught upon root 2 1 minus root 2 j cap okay so this is velocity vector at time t is equal to v naught upon g okay let's say this is equation 1 and now to find position vector r that will that is given by x i cap plus y j cap right so therefore at time t is equal to v naught upon g x will be equal to v x multiplied by time t right so this will be equal to v x is uh, v naught upon root 2 right v naught upon root 2 multiplied by time is v naught upon g okay so from here x will be equal to uh, v naught square upon root 2 g okay and y will be equal to uh, from third equation of motion this will be u y t minus half g t square okay so u y is v naught by root 2 right and t is v naught by g minus half g t will be v naught upon g whole square okay so upon simplifying this i will get y is equal to v naught square upon 2g multiplied by root 2 minus 1 okay 
so this means that the position vector r this will be equal to v naught square upon root 2g i cap plus v naught square upon 2g uh, root 2 minus 1 j cap okay so now we have r vector and we have v vector okay let's say this is equation 2 so from these two equations i can write the angular momentum vector right so angular momentum l this will be equal to m times uh, r vector is v naught square upon root 2g i cap plus v naught square upon 2g root 2 minus 1 j cap okay cross uh, v right and v is v upon v naught upon root 2 i cap this will be v naught upon root 2 i cap plus uh, v naught upon root 2 1 minus root 2 okay so v naught upon root 2 1 minus root 2 j cap okay so upon solving this cross product uh, with determinant method we will get l is equal to minus of m v naught cube divided by 2 root 2 g right and direction will be k cap okay now as there is negative this means the direction will be in negative k cap right this will be the direction of the angular momentum vector and the magnitude of angular momentum vector this will be equal to m v naught uh, cube right this is cube divided by 2 root 2 g okay so therefore correct option will be option a for class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.